What's up, collective? It's Kai. So honestly, I've just been preparing my new place of residency and things have been kind of crazy, but I made brekkie, okay? I fucking made breakfast. I've been going through it, not gonna lie, <laughs> physically. <laughs> but I am in my video phase. If you are a feminine entity like myself um, and you identify with it, I highly recommend cycle syncing. Like it's really helped me kind of like pick myself back up like almost instantaneously. Sorry, I always need to fucking adjust because it's just lopsided still. Still fucking lopsided. But um, yeah, we're here. We're fucking out here, brothers. Like my sister is literally like, I would be so ecstatic. But honestly, it was meant to be. Like it was already going to happen. And I genuinely feel like <laughs> this is truly what manifestation is. It's when you yourself are the frequency so it doesn't come as a fucking surprise that i have my own place and yet at the same time it is to be grateful but because i haven't been in the best space i recognize like sorry i was gonna do mukbang but i put turmeric so i don't want to like talk with food in my mouth but i just want to do you know, I'm a Capricorn Mars and a fucking Capricorn Moon. And yeah, I've been making sure that I feel my emo uh, my emotions, but I'm like, so I, I don't feel it. I don't feel the same things like I used to. So therefore I'm responding differently to certain stimuli. And it's really interesting because I'm understanding how much I've healed. This is my own journey. I just want to disclaim, I know it's kind of late, but anything that I'm talking about, I'm just experiencing myself. It may not work with you. It might not even resonate. It may not even make any fucking sense. And that's fine. But I'm just putting that disclaimer out there because I created this space so that I could be myself. There's a lot of shit that I go through, just like everybody else just like everybody fucking else, but I'm willing to talk about it. I'm willing to expose my ass. <laughs> and so I acknowledge that this definitely felt way too fucking natural. Like I was just like, here, ready, done, there, we're good. And then it was just like, I started moving all my things and like burning myself out physically. So my body kind of shut down. I struggled a bit for these past few days with my ED. And I just accepted it. I was like, yeah, I am fucking stressing myself out. I eat healthy because I do OnlyFans as well. And the way that I empower myself as a sexual being and own up to that power is to take care of my body. So I focus on nutrition, cycle syncing, seed cycling, protein intake, understanding that there are times that I do need more calories, my luteal phase, which is probably one of the most challenging parts about the luteal phase for me, because I like that feeling when you eat, but not enough where it's like, you're so full. I don't like that feeling. And so I've just been facing that. I've been recognizing certain things about myself and yes, it's so important to eat your fucking meals. I don't believe that you should necessarily do intermittent fasting, but everyone to their own because my mom fucking does it. <laughs> I don't know if that's like the healthiest thing for her, right? Everyone's different. I do not know anyone else's body but my own to the best of my abilities, right? So, I kind of was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let it happen. So yeah, it was a lot of just doing shit and not regretting it. Even though it is pretty fucked up. 
and I really try to emphasize on this channel because I do like divination through cardamancy there is a level of respect there's a level of respect there's a ritual it's a practice right think of it like a monk think of it like a fucking catholic motherfucker like you go to church every sunday you dress well and the spiritual act of going forth upon the journey to find oneself over and over and over and over again and lately I've realized like I I was a fucking deviant bruh as a kid I was a fucking deviant like I I know like oh my god I don't want to explain too much from the past but in reality the past is for my own reflection it's for me to reflect on the aspects in which I align with more, right? And as I grow and mature, then yes, there are parts of myself that I do let go of, like being physically violent. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen, <laughs> unless it's from self-defense, now that I'm actually strong enough and eat, that I can actually protect myself to a degree. And I just really, wasn't acknowledging that part of myself. I surrounded myself with people like that over and over again, but because I couldn't accept that part of me within me, I rejected them, right? And there are still things within other people that I reject simply because I do not accept that into my own space. Always coming back to myself because it's not blame. I'm not here to blame any of these motherfuckers for their own choices, their own free will. That is why spirituality is so beautiful because everyone is capable of standing in their own power but in their own ways and that's what i've been doing honestly i came here i started my practice a lot more intensely and i've just been fucking living for it and there's no hesitance there's no doubt there's no it's just complete fucking flow I don't know how else to describe it, but that's literally what's happening right now, actively. And it's true though. I am the one who built myself up so that I could sit here comfortably. Oh, and there's so much unknown. The moment that I know shit, there's so much fucking unknown that's literally simultaneously becoming unknown because I know something. I mean that intuitively. I mean that practically. So what did I discover? I just go <laughs> no, this makes me laugh. I discovered if I hurt your fucking feeling, that's not my fucking problem. <laughs> Which is so karmic, bro. Like literally that was what was happening to me. Okay? That was actively what was happening to me. Where obviously this person could give two shits about whether my feelings are being fucking hurt. Which is so fucking valid, bro. Like, it's no one else's fucking responsibility. It's my responsibility to not only experience my emotions, validate them, acknowledge them, process them, let them fucking go. Be in alignment, act in alignment with how I feel, speak my fucking truth, but also discern on who the fuck gets to hear it. Because there's certain things that I've recognized. I don't need to share it. I don't want to fucking share it. Period. And it's just a very interesting process. Oh, shit. Anyways, that's kind of the video. Um, things about to get fucking interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me eat this turmeric dish and talk about my life. I really do appreciate it.
<laughs> I don't know if I will ever get used to this, but we grow and we evolve. We expand our fucking horizons. We step out of our comfort zones. We challenge ourselves. We learn a fucking lesson. We repeat cycles. We also make mistakes. I have ego, I have fears, but I'm more than happy to do it fucking afraid because that's the motherfucking shit. <laughs> so I'm sending you so much love on your own spiritual journey because thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Thank you for fucking being alive. <sighs> much love. Bye guys.